Hi, I'm Dr. Guy Ramos. I'm a fellow in gastroenterology and hepatology at Mayo Clinic, Rochester. And today we'll be discussing the article entitled Mechanisms of Disease, Inflammatory Bowel Disease, written by Dr. Papadakis and I. Uh, inflammatory bowel diseases comprised by Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis are a major uh, health issue worldwide. Historically, these two conditions have been a major concern in Western developed countries for specifics on genetics and environmental factors of these, of, of these populations. Uh, from a genetic perspective, there is heritability described in infl inflammatory bowel diseases, which is stronger in Crohn's disease when compared to ulcerative colitis. Also from a genetic perspective, genome-wide association studies have identified single nucleotide uh, polymorphisms that are specific to these diseases and have unraveled specific pathways behind the pathogenesis of both conditions. However, genetic, genetics alone do not explain the entirety of Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis pathogenesis. Uh, recent studies have actually demonstrated that there is an increase in the incidence of these two conditions in developing countries after industrialization, which what has risen again the role of environmental factors in the pathogenesis of both conditions. Uh, environmental factors going from diet to smoking actually promote intestinal inflammation uh, through changes in the microbiome. This has gained increased uh, interest recently uh, after small studies have demonstrated the benefit of fecal microbiota transplantation on a specific subset of inflammatory bowel diseases patients. Uh, however, this dysbiosis would not lead to intestinal inflammation if it wasn't for a disrupted uh, intestinal barrier. This intestinal barrier is comprised by the intestinal epithelial cells, tight junctions between them, the mucus layer, goblet cells, Pennet cells and also innate, uh, innate immune cells, and all of these have been reported to be disrupted in patients with inflammatory bowel diseases. Everything that, I've, that has been mentioned before, genetics, environmental factors, changes in the microbiome, and uh, the disrupted, inflama the disrupted uh, intestinal barrier will all lead to an exaggerated inflammatory response that results from an imbalance between different T cells subsets and uh, regulatory cells which are dysfunctional in this patient population. Uh, and recent drugs that have been used in, th in practice actually target and cytokines of inflammation such as TNF-alpha, also specific cytokines uh, related to specific T cell subsets such as TH1 and TH17, uh, IL-12 IL and IL-23, and also there are therapies that prevent uh, lymphocytes from migrating to the inflamed mucosa and also have been shown to work in clinical practice. New therapies either on clinical trials or uh, about to be used in clinical practice actually target intracellular and intranuclear targets, for example genus kinases, uh, to try to approach inflammation on a more uh, broad fashion. In summary, uh, inflammatory bowel diseases uh, are a result of the interplay of genetic susceptibility and environmental factors that lead to changes in the microbiome going through a weak uh, intestinal barrier will lead to inappropriate uh, immune activation, resulting on the phenotypic changes that we see in these patients, both in clinic and uh, endoscopically. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.